understanding current when fly fishing saltwater in Mission Bay. Check out this video with Tyler Vanisdell. He's the owner of Mission Bay Fly Fishing Company. I had the opportunity to go down and fish with him down in Mission Bay, San Diego. And we were talking about some of the things he thinks about when he's considering fishing in an area like Mission Bay. And one important element of that was current. Right now the best way to try to determine current is if you go to your fishing spot, you make your cast. If your line is staying straight out in front of you and it's not moving to the left or to the right, there's no current there. Fish need to have that current. They need that water movement because it gets them active and it gets them on the feed. So if you go out and, you're, and again, if your line is not moving to the left or the right, I would suggest moving. Move to another location where water is moving. Maybe closer to the inlet of a bay possibly where you know that water is coming or moving out. You and I, like I've fished across this way over here and if you were in a fishing right there and I'm like, we're gonna give it a shot. And I typically will set a timer for like 30 minutes. And if our lines aren't moving, I'm like, let's pack up, we're out of here, we're moving got to feel it and sometimes like as you get more into it you'll get like a tide log or like things like that I actually have a written tide log that I purchase each season and it tells me how fast it's a guesstimate of how fast or how slow the, the tides moving in or moving out so then I can kind of use that too um, so it's it's interesting and the moon phase actually affects that how big or how small that moon is will affect actually how fast or how slow that tide is moving. So say for instance, if you and I are gonna go fishing today, one thing I'm looking at, number one, is like, where are the tides? How big are the tides today? Where are they at with the time that we have to fish today? And the tides will affect basically overall depth. So the tides will affect where we're gonna go, why? Because I'm gonna to have to choose what location we're gonna have that gives, that affords us the structure for us to actually make a cast too. So, with that basically meaning is, all tides mean to me is depth. But also, tides also mean current, the movement of water coming in and out, which we both need as well. So, and the moons actually are attached to that, of course. If you don't know that, the moon actually does affect the speed and the rate and the actual depth of the tide itself. So, being cognizant of how big the moon is or how small it is will actually affect how and what we're going to do for that day for fishing. That was some great tips and information from Tyler Vanisdale, who's the owner of Mission Bay Fly Fishing Company. Really great person to get to know and to understand a lot of the strategies and tactics for saltwater fishing, particularly down here. He guides in Mission Bay right here, as well as San Diego Bay and the local beaches. Let us know. We'll put you in touch, and we'll see you right here next time on the Backcast. <music>